Hello and welcome back. This is Greg French. Uh, today we're going to be covering Chapter 2, Part 4 of the Operating System. Uh, this is part of the A-plus Computer Pair Series, and this will conclude Chapter 2 today. First utility we're going to look at, uh, System Properties. Two ways to open this utility. We can right-click uh, My Computer and select Properties, or we can click on the uh, System Applet in the Control Panel. Some of the tasks that can be performed, we can view the processor and memory information, change the name of the computer on the network, access device manager on the hardware tab, control performance in the advanced tab, we can switch system restore on or off, and we can use the automated update to control updating. Again, a very important uh, system tool. Uh, control panel contains applets used to manage the system. Accessing the control panel, Windows XP. Just click the start button and then click control panel. Two views, you have a category view and the classical view. Classical view is the older view. Device manager, another very important tool. Primary graphical tool for solving hardware problems. Primary screen uh, displays a list of devices, everything, all your hardware and your computer. Right click the properties to view uh, device details. Some tasks that can be performed, you can enable, disable, and uninstall a device. You can also use this to update uh, device drivers. Symbols. Symbols are used to indicate the device status. Example, it could be a red X over the device, indicating it's been disabled. Uh, here's some windows to show you the XP uh, device manager. System information. Used to view detailed information about the system. Another very important tool. Important features. BIOS version that you are using. Directory where the OS is installed how system resources are used, information about drivers and their status. To open this utility, you can enter msinfo32.exe in the Run dialog box. Uh, key Guide uh, to System. Excellent troubleshooting. And this is the Windows Help in the Microsoft website. Very important troubleshooting help. Key Guide to the System. Excellent troubleshooting resource. Example, Analyze Problems uh, with the Internet Connected connection. Microsoft website, and here's the link to it. Use the search engine to locate alternative resources. I uh, like to use Google. Google is my primary troubleshooting tool. Using Google, I can find information concerning any problem that I ever run into, and it's all documented, and it's current on the internet. Google is a very, very important tool. Uh, troubleshooter, uh, making suggestions to solve a problem. Uh, with using the modem to connect to the internet. The Microsoft website is, again, very useful too. Oftentimes Google will take me back to the Microsoft website. Keystro keystroke uh, shortcuts in the OS can be very helpful. Uh, simply simplifying interaction with the operating system examples, function keys, F4, F5, F8, uh, text editing controls, control C, control V, and control X. These shortcut keys are critical when the mouse is not working. If for some reason your mouse doesn't work, you can always use shortcut uh, uh, keyboard shortcuts to get around. Summary. The OS manages system resources for users and applications. DOSC. Disk operating system. Early command driven type of operating system. Still very useful. I use it daily to help maintain my Windows uh, operating systems. Modern OS's. Windows 2000 XP. Linux. The Mac OS. Operating systems are are divided into kernel and the shell. The shell is where the user interfaces uh, with uh, the keyboard and with the computer. The kernel is the, what manages the hardware. OS has two running modes. So we have a real and protected mode. We need to understand the real mode uh, directly accesses the hardware. The protected mode was created by Microsoft to uh, prevent two applications from uh, accessing hardware uh, directly, causing uh, conflict and blue screens. Summary continued. OS functions, providing the user the interface, managing files, managing applications, and managing your hardware. Windows Desktop, primary graphical interface to the OS. Windows Explorer, used to navigate uh, directories and manipulate files and folders. Other tools, system properties, very important. Control panel, device manager, very important. System information, very important. And the Windows help. 
Keystroke shortcuts provide a way to perform tasks without the use of a mouse. It can be very helpful when the mouse isn't working. Activities. Uh, what can device manager be used for? I want you to really get a good understanding of what we use device manager for. So I want you to do some research and tell me about it. Uh, what information does system info provide? System information is very important. Provides a lot of information. I want you to give me some examples. Uh, why is Google used to troubleshoot problems? Google, you're going to find, is your most important troubleshooting aid. Why is it so important? And then lab uh, 2.6, I want you to complete uh, Windows keyboard shortcuts. I want you to answer all the review questions and turn them in for me. Now this concludes Chapter 2. Uh, next, we'll be looking at Chapter 3. Thank you very much for your time. Bye.